everything looks pretty normal to me. I think we made it back in time. Let's go see the Grand Warden. Noah, you're back. We heard strange things were afoot out here. Did you figure out what's going on? No, but the signs are looking worse all the time. In fact, a bunch of patrols I sent out haven't returned. One was a team of hardened vets, too. Taking them down would be no easy feat. What could possibly be doing all this? It's gotta be that Skeleton King guy, right? Him and his army of revenants or whatever? Ah! Oh. That... noise! Nil? What's wrong? What was that? The concealment magic will not hold much longer. They will soon learn what is happening. But it is no matter, for we have the numbers we need. Ah! My soulless liches will overrun this place and steal nourishment from the living. The lens demands payment in blood. To sate it is my duty and my eternal wish. And sated you shall, as agreed. What's going on? It feels like lens magic, but the power is vast. Also, something about it feels terribly... wrong. An enemy attack, maybe? Okay. What the hell are those things? Oh! Oh, bee, 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 bee. There's so many... Are they revenants? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I sense the power of a rune lens, and not just any lens. This one seems to be calling to the revenants, sustaining them somehow. Please tell me that entire army isn't coming for us. No. Please, no! What do we do? Run! Run! Wrong. Running is the one thing we won't do. This village is special to me. I live here. I grew up here. And there's no way I'm gonna let a bunch of damn corpses defile my home. Marissa. She's right. We can't let them take Yarnan. They'll pay the price for underestimating us. We'll fight to our last breath. Enough, all of you. Think for a second. There's no way we can fend off a horde like that with our numbers. So what are you saying? Just hand the village over to them? If we don't, they'll kill us and take it anyway. Fine! Then they kill us! I'd rather die than watch a bunch of undead freaks sully my home! Don't do this! You'd be throwing your lives away! This is my home we're talking about, Noah! I know! And no home is worth dying for! The Empire overran my town and burned my home to the ground. But we ran, which is why Aunt Martha and the other villagers are still alive today. We didn't lose the one thing that matters. Each other. But this town matters to me, dammit! Enough, Marissa. 
It's not like you to lose your cool like this. But I have to do something! I respect how much you love this place, I do. But let's get our priorities straight. You and everyone else come first, then this place. You're family to me, Marissa. All the Guardians are. If we lose our town, our homes, fine. We rebuild, but there's no rebuilding if you die. The world needs Guardians too much for us to throw our lives away. And yeah, maybe there comes a time where we have to do that. But this ain't it. I agree, Marissa. You are very important to me. So please, for my sake, don't say something so sad. Poopy! <sighs> all right. I get it. Then we're all on the same page. We Guardians need to get everyone out of here. So long as we're alive, we can keep fulfilling our duty. No matter where we end up. With your blessing, Grand Warden? Yes. But first, we must stall for time so the children and others can escape. Now that's something worth risking our lives for. Guardians, secure the entrance to the village! It sounds like we have work to do, Marissa. <sighs> we can't let a single revenant through until the evacuation is complete. Move out! <sighs> Will you fight at our side, Noah? <laughs> do you even need to ask? Good. Then let's go. I'll be honest before you know it. It's a relief to know you're fighting at our side, Noah. Come on, Marissa. Let's show them what we can... Uh, hello? I'm also here fighting at your side. Yes, but you always are. Enemy sighted! Marissa! Noah! You take that side! On it! Call me! Yeah! 
I just keep getting better. ourselves a moment's rest at least. Nope. Scratch that. More incoming. Let him come. Let's do this. Intercept them inside the village. Larissa, Noah, Nell! Don't fall behind! You either, all we. I've been promoted to afterthought. Joy. until everyone has escaped. Agreed. Hobby Pooh! They're here. You guys! 
guys are good. I feel stronger. This feeling must be what you call fed up. Pretty much. Hmm. I believe I have deepened my understanding of your emotional states. So how fed up are you? I am... extremely fed up. Is now really the time for this conversation? Very well, if you insist. My powers grow. All right, let's fall back a little more. Remember, we're just playing for time here. Okay, let's try to buy him a little time from this position. They have many wonderful memories here. And now look at it. Marissa. This is my house. My home. Kobe! It's true that we have to leave here for now. But we'll come back one day and reclaim it all. You're right. We will. We must. Then let's go win this thing.
of this! Rune! Come on! Oh, I'm back back in it. It. Ready, I've got this! Now! By the Rune's power! My powers grow. All right, who's next? Keep them coming. <sighs> Guardians, just speaking the name vexes me. But time has robbed them of much of their former strength. Come, my liches! Bring this land under my dominion! Is he the one behind this? I'm gonna take him down. Easy, Marissa. No throwing our lives away, remember? We keep a level head, analyze the situation, and take the optimal course of action. That's the Guardian way. I have your back, Marissa. So please, do not put yourself in any needless danger. You've got Noah and me too. Remember that. Let's do this! It's my duty to keep getting stronger.
Okay, time to withdraw everybody. And I mean everybody. <sighs> All right. This is not goodbye, Marissa. We'll return to this village one day. It is my home, too, after all. Who, baby? We finally made it. Everyone who left the village ahead of us should already be here. Noah! Marissa! Maxim? I heard your village was overrun, and I'm grievously sorry I was not there to help. All the evacuees have been taken to the castle. Thank you. I do not deserve your gratitude. You helped me save my people, yet I was unable to aid yours. It's not your fault, Maxim. What's the situation here? Countess Periel has arrived, along with the Eucharistian army. She has asked you and Marissa to join her at the castle for a summit. Got it. Thanks. So, Periel and the others are here? If so, we should pay her a visit. You came to help, Periel? Naturally. We're here to fight with you. And thank goodness we made it in time. I advised His Majesty to remain in Eucharis. You and Yu Lin both try to dissuade me. I admit, I may not be able to contribute much, but I still felt I should fight with you. Symbolically, I suppose. Most... Gracious Majesty, 
Your presence here will make the next step go more smoothly. What step is that? We have called a summit with Norister and Kenon. Before we face the Empire, there is another battle to win. Here we suffer again. Don't you mean, here we go again? Here we go, suffer again. I believe we are all assembled. The last time we gathered like this was to negotiate the Norsefarian purchase with Aldric. But the world is a very different place now. And where do things stand with the Dukes? General Electra, if you would. Yes, Your Majesty. This information comes on behalf of intelligence supplied by Commander Noah of the Alliance and the Valiant Guardian Marissa. There is a strong possibility the Imperial Army will invade Norister via White Crown Pass in the Ega Northcaps. The Alliance, is it? So, they've given a name to the untrained rabble that pulled you, Chris, out of the fire. I'm not certain that's the best way to, um... Correct. It is better to say they saved us. We'd not have held the enemy at bay without their help, and neither will you. Duke Zaldric commands tremendous power. His army is so great that even the combined might of our three nations cannot hold him back. We need the strength of every nation in the League. And Commander Noah and the Alliance have proven themselves capable of bringing people together. Our castle has welcomed allies from every race, from the Shi'arks to the Tree Folk. Hmm. And here I thought it was young Countess Groom hatching all these petty plans. Hmm. Bless you, Highness. <laughs> Noah, was it? The young lady has little skill when it comes to hiding her ambitions. But what cause have you to fight? My cause? It's to protect as many people as I can. Ha! That seems a rather simple-minded way to look at the world. I've seen too many things in this war, and seen too many people dragged into it against their will. It has to stop. I believe that now more than ever. <laughs> a fine answer, spoken with the fire of youth. But the young commander would be wise to remember that passion alone cannot win a war. Or perhaps such passions are precisely what is needed. Hmm. Humans are eager creatures, quicker to profess than they are to practice. I hope there's more to his words than wind. Perhaps His Highness might first explain the absence of the Kinani army. Will they be arriving before or after the battle? We had more immediate concerns. Just before we set out, someone set fire to a number of the outposts we were using to provision our army. It forced us to transport supplies from more remote outposts, which delayed the march. <sighs> the work of the Dukes. Most likely, confound him. That is distressing. If the Empire reaches us before the Kinani army, any hope of victory will be dashed. I assure you we are moving as quickly as we can. And if that is not enough? Then we'll just have to slow the Empire down. Bold words. Have you a plan? If you can provide a map of White Crown Pass, I will see it accomplished. So, this alliance of yours can handle a mission of such consequence? 
We can and will, Highness. <laughs> then by all means, let us see what the mighty young leader can do. I trust there are no objections, Commander Noah. I've learned never to doubt you when you're up to something. Let's do it. <sighs> I knew we would waste time fencing with one another over who is the bigger leader. Duke Zaldric understands the League's pressure points. Who knows what else he'll try besides attacking Keenan's provisions? Uh, I don't know squat about this Aldric person, but he already sounds like an insufferable ass. Oh, I think you and I are going to get along very nicely. So what's the plan to slow him down? I will require a little time to hammer that out. You've only just arrived and must be tired, Commander. Why don't you take your ease at the inn? We should head to Maxim's and help get the villagers settled in. Yes, I'm certain more will be arriving in the coming hours and days. So, don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but uh, are you sure you'll come up with a plan in time, mate? It's that, or I'll have to start entertaining the idea of losing. Melridge could have at least dropped a hint about how we're going to slow the imps down. It's certain to be something interesting. For now, we should get some rest. I wonder if Melridge has worked out his plan. Thank you for giving me time, Commander Noah. Did you come up with anything? I believe I have. Must you all work through the night like this? You really should take better care of yourselves. The boss can be pretty strict, but working with him is fascinating. Let's discuss the operation. Miss Iris, if you would. True to its name, White Crown Pass is covered year-round in heavy weather, but in a bit of good news for us, it's also prone to avalanches. And are we expecting one of those soon? No. So we're going to cause one instead. Uh, we can do that? We've carefully pored over the maps we were provided to study the peak's shape. 
we have identified three locations where, with a sufficient explosion, we could trigger controlled avalanches and impede the Imperial Army's progress. Do we need all three? Yes. That's the only way to get enough volume to bury the pass. What kind of explosions are we talking here? Magic? Nope. We'd need way too many people to produce that much firepower. We're gonna use imp tech called runic charges. I've seen them in action before. They pack quite a punch. Runic charges? If such a thing exists, I'm not privy to it. From what I hear, you don't want to be near one when it goes off. They're a type of explosive that was in production at our research facility. Raw lens power is what creates the blast. I wasn't directly involved, but I heard he'd been using them on the download. He is in the Dukes? That makes sense, actually. Aldrich has been focusing his efforts on channeling the rune lens's power into weapons anyone can wield. Those charges must be one such product. I understand his reasoning, as the power of a rune lens depends on individual talent. They are difficult to put to military use. We also wouldn't have the rune tank without the Dukes' funding. But nothing excuses what he's doing at the lab. Agreed. He's crossed a line. Hmm. So that's the kind of man we're up against. Anyway, the charges are pretty unpredictable and can only be manufactured in small quantities. From what I heard, they're only approved for use during special operations. Long story short, me, Ivy, and Codel took a crack at making some, based on what Guru and everyone remembered. It requires a special grade of raw lens, but we were able to make just enough, and I guarantee they pack a punch. <sighs> a shame we can't put such a powerful weapon into general use. We'd be hard-pressed to gather enough for our lens at that grade. Oh, another thing. We built a regule that will let us trigger a timed explosion by controlling how quickly magical energy is siphoned off the lens. So the plan is to place those in the three locations you mentioned. Yes, but we must ensure the explosions trigger simultaneously. We should finish the job quickly, since there's no telling when the enemy will arrive. Quite so. Which is why I will be asking Commander Noah, Lieutenant Sane, and Guardian Marissa to lead the three teams that will be placing the charges. Fine by me. Me as well. Yeah, I don't know. You want out? <laughs> Just messing with you. I was about to volunteer. Poo -poo -poo. The leader of the Alliance, an Imperial Dissenter, and one of the Guardian's finest warriors teaming up on a gopher-broke mission? This will be fantastic publicity. <clears throat> Lady Perian? Nothing. Don't mind me. Right then. Our three team leaders should proceed to White Crown Pass at once. The rest of us will be right behind you. Once you reach the pass, be ready to split into your respective teams. The pass is north of here, in case you get lost. Let's get going, everyone. The Imperial Army can make the crossing any day now. No objections here. We've got this. Very well. Who else will be accompanying you? You'll be glad you took a guardian along. Luck to you all. Is everything in place? 90% of our planned expeditionary forces have assembled. They will be ready to march in a few days. Who is the holdout? General Goldwyn? Correct. However, he has been given a formal order on behalf of the throne. He will fall in line. Despite his attempts to stall us. Ha! Huh. What does that fool hope to achieve? Truly. He poses no threat. 
Regardless, we have a more important matter to discuss. I recently learned that our plans to cross Snow Peak Pass have been leaked to the enemy. It matters not. While we are ready to move out, the Kanani army is still scrambling to amass provisions. You are forgetting another concern. An ambush? Impossible. Our scouts have already determined there are no hiding places along the way for a force of any size. All true. And yet, the League of Nations has someone very clever advising them. Wars are not decided by numbers, but by character, by the resolute, the wise, and the faithful. Many people claim, falsely, I might add, to possess such character. But it's the few who truly have it that will give you trouble, even when you have them outnumbered. Wise words, Your Grace. But I swear my faith and loyalty to you are beyond question. White Crown Pass is north of here. Let's be off. Ooh, so this mission comes down to the three of us. I just hope we can all play nice. What do you mean? Don't you two have some kind of rivalry going on? Actually, the one time Sane and I went head to head, he took me down. Victory and defeat are but a breath apart. Really? Interesting. We'll have to spar sometime. <laughs>